brothers and sisters, put your hands together for Apocalypse. Peace. Here we go. Another day from the Death of Apocalypse. Dogs, Gods, Entertainment. With a quick word of reflection. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm very excited. Why are you so excited? <laughs> because I'm breathing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm breathing. I have the activity and use of my limbs, a reasonable portion of my sanity. You know what I'm saying? I can taste. I can tell. I can touch. I can, uh, 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 did I say tell? I can smell. I can taste. I can touch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's enough to be excited about. Look, I'm going to make a quick point that I was reflecting on. That's in my book. Walking Road to Recovery, Nine Steps in Motion. It's the point that, you know, it's probably, it could be an unpopular point in thought, but check this out. You know, I know people often wonder, well, I'll tell you what, people definitely used to often wonder and even say something out of their mouth about, man, why are you out here? Every day, it started in Suitland, Maryland. You know, on Suitland Silver Hill Road. You know, what I mean, when I re- when I realized that I want to do everything in my power, everything within my being, to do what I can to get out here on a daily, consistent basis to do something for myself, so that I would not have to do the traditional thing of waking up every day, getting a nine to five, and going to a job that I just did not want to be on and I'm just miserable about it. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are ups and downs of soldier for a limit. Like, you know, brother, brother Michael, you know what I'm saying, was the type of brother. You know, I heard people talk about soldiering in the rain, soldiering in the snow, you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. But, you know, this brother right here, <laughs> we didn't talk about it. We got out there and we had to ask a lot sometimes, you know, should I stay out here? Should I stay or should I go? Like, <laughs> I remember t- one time it was pouring down rain, right? <laughs> and I had my big old umbrella. I had my papers and my pads and everything. My hair walking down the street like I'm walking in, you know, three inch light. <laughs> like, woo. And then I saw a big, well, I heard a big thunder. Boom. And I saw that lightning. <laughs> you know what I said? <laughs> and that was clearly a lot. I said, man go home <laughs> but we made an attempt you know who you know he attempts not the uphill road this brother attempt the uphill road you understand what i'm saying but um the point i want to make is about consistency man like you know i want to make a point about consistency but the point i want to make about consistency is you know i put a question up about being prodigal on facebook the other day and brother brother deandre and brother Chaz from DC, man, they had some beautiful, you know, they put some beautiful building blocks in their comment on that piece, right? And one of the things brother Chaz is talking about is he was looking and closing the gap and the Ominous Lord's Farcom was making a point about that and how, you know, Allah is not prodigal, right? But anyway, so I was reflecting on what that caused me to do this morning is reflect on this part of my journey, right? You know, you would, you know, people would ask the question, okay, you guys, you start getting high at 10, then that thing escalated to hallucinogens and crack and all of that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, why, 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 why? You know, why would you go through, you know, why would you have to go through something like that or whatever the case? Uh, or people may not see a lot in that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but we learn from our missiles Farrakhan that everything is under Allah's active or permissive will. So what do you what can you gain from such? See, Allah did not waste that time in your life. Allah is not prodigal. You know what I'm saying? So I was reflecting on that when I was writing the book. And I said, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? There are principles <laughs> to being a drug addict, man. You know what I'm saying? There are there are underlying principles. Like, you have to be consistent. You know what I mean? You have to be determined. You have to 
be relentless. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the point I want to make about it is the consistency. You know, how the mind works on constantly that next hit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so when you see Brother Michael, like, on the block, pushing the program every day, like, you know, like it or not, those principles <laughs> were developed in me as an addict. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you could take that which is a dark situation, that which is seemingly, which is detrimental to your life, and if Allah bless you through it, or when Allah blesses you through it, you that wasn't a waste. There are divine principles underneath that that could feed and lead you into a successful life on this side of life after knowledge, after supreme wisdom, after some understanding. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so, you know, you know, some people jump on and say different things when you post different things and think they know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Instead of just studying what you saying or whatever, you know, they just drop stuff because they think they know. You know what I'm saying? They processed it the way you put it out there or whatever, whatever the case. Instead of see, I I rather deal with people who are in who are constantly in the mindset of learning. Cause that's me. I'm I wanna learn. I wanna learn from every situation instead of people who just think they know. People who think they know, you can't, you ain't going to teach them nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so don't even waste your time trying to teach somebody something who think they know. You know what I mean? So just, uh, just lay it out. I like to lay stuff out because this is how I challenge my own mind. Just lay it out. And then what can you get from what's being laid out in front of you? You know what I mean? Dig deeper, deeper, deeper. Because you can't exhaust the wisdom of a lot. You know what I mean? If the if the seas were ink and the trees were pants, come on, man. You know, you know how you know how I go, right? So anyway, anyway, consistency. You know, how do you learn the importance of consistency? You know, and what is the value in consistency? You know what I mean? So that's our word today for the Death of Apocalypse. It's Sunday, January 30th, 2022. We about to head out with the help of Allah to the foodie spot, 7350 South Stony Island Avenue. Oh, and I just want to thank Allah for all the believers who were in town yesterday who came and supported us. You are, you definitely were and are a blessing. You know what I'm saying? That was a much needed boost and push for us. All right? That's our word today from the Death of Apocalypse. Enjoy the day. <laughs>